Okay, folks, here's another one we're going to do. Yeah, it's reminding me of my financial situation. I've gone broke. To, this morning I tried to buy something and I got declined. So I'm not looking too good at the moment, even though the good thing is it's a sat Sunday and I, I've still got enough money on my Opal card so I can get to my job, so I can shake off these these this low budget that I've got. Um, it's really difficult um, trying to use my talent here because it's costing money. It's not actually pulling any profit. It's, it's making me lose money heaps. And I'm just hoping that my stuff will have a place. I'm not... I've never been... You could say I've never been lucky when it comes to making money and using my talent. I've done some really nasty things when I was young and it fucked me up. So we're photocopying this. I'm in, you could say I'm in the red. Uh, okay, red dress, red budget, not looking too good, not a very good feel. Um, so we're just going to put it on the glass like so. So red just... That's another colour thing. Uh, red does remind me of bad budget, going broke, getting in debt. Um, and I'm really... I, I'll probably have to pay the photocopier company some money and I don't have to wait till payday. No, I don't want that. What am I doing? I'm just going to leave it on that. So I'm trying my best to do something practical with what I'm talented at and it's costing me so I'm trying to and I'm also looking for a lost loved one that's the primary thing I'm using my talent uh, as a way of I'm trying to get on the uh, TV um, and it's really proven to be very difficult um, I'm really trying my hardest to to just make a difference to my life and other people's lives. Now, I think that's going to go a bit more scrunchier than that. Just going to scrunch it up further. But I really miss my partner. And I'm putting all my effort into finding him. So he's into photocopiers as well. So I'm trying to get on the news, the primetime news in the evening. You know, like the six o'clock news, which is one of the best places to go if you want to get publicity. And I really need this publicity. Now that looks really quite nice. Uh, I'm wondering if we're going to change it or we're going to leave it like that. Um, but basically, it's really not an easy thing to do to try and get the media interested in in what I'm doing it really proves to be difficult but I'm trying my hardest and despite not having much in the way of money I'm actually going to pull that up I'm going to just drop the dock feeder on it crunch it squash it closer it's a bit dark but basically it's really a challenge trying to get these news entities interested in my work it's not like the usual death disease disaster destruction damage the d words and then you expand upon it to say murder and house fires and drownings and all this crap that they like to air and they consider it uh newsworthy i'm just wondering which one looks i think we can go with that it looks much the same like I haven't got much difference but it really gets a bit uh, monotonous when you hear about these news items being the way that they are the negativity and the horror you know it really isn't worth it but they they insist on it anyway it's a part of the culture of the, the media is to report on shit over good things. They, they prefer to 
I'm just wondering where the centre of this job really is. I was thinking it was going to be there, but I'm actually thinking that's a good question. I'm um, wondering where it's going to be, but I really get worn out by how the news just doesn't seem to want to add, try new things. Yes, they occasionally put some positive things in, but it's usually near the end of the bulletin, right near the end of the fucking bulletin. This stuff has got to be at the front of the bulletin. It's got to be right at the top, right there. One of the first things you get when you switch on the fucking six o'clock news is I want my stuff to appear there and I'm, I have the fucking nerve to, uh, to sort of be presumptuous, you could say, a little bit audacious trying to get this stuff up there and be thinking it's worthy of... Because I know that I, the old saying, pride comes before a fall, but sometimes you have to have enough confidence to change things and you have to fucking take calculated risks like going broke on a regular basis or going broke every now and then because you fucking can't keep up the supply of cash because you're trying so fucking hard to stoke the boiler on the on the on the choo-choo train you know put it you know that sort of the idea and you keep going full blast, going at full speed, trying to go as hard and fast as you can go without losing it. Anyway, that looks really quite nice. I think now we can call this demo quits.